What's up guys and welcome to Key West International Airport. We should probably get out of the way. Welcome back to some more Airport Sim. Today we have a flight coming in from Orlando. And I have broken so many laws by standing out here, but it's okay. I'm a baggage handler and we're going to be handling some luggage today. Very excited about this. We're back here. Second video on this game. Honestly, this game is really intense. It's like, I swear I spend double the amount of time in the tutorials than I do actually recording the footage, but it's kind of fun because I'm really learning and you know, getting to know the ins and outs of how airports work. So uh, today, this is going to be our to-do list here. Securing the plane, placing the cones, chocks, things like that. We're going to connect the GPU, which we did in the last one. But then we are going to connect some stairs and deboard the passengers. We're here at Key West. This is a very small airport, so they're just going to kind of walk on the tarmac into the, uh, the terminal. And then last but not least, we are going to unload the luggage, which I've been looking forward to since we started playing this game. So... They're down there turning around at the end of the runway. We are going to go get set up over here at bay number one. Also talk about the perfect T-Martin 2 collab. Check this out. Alaskan Road Truckers livery on the plane in the stand next door. thought that was kind of cool. Let's go ahead and throw our, uh, our headphones on. It's getting a little bit loud as this guy is taxiing up. So uh, stand number one is going to be right here. This is gonna be our workspace for today. Yep, yep, come on with it. Bring her on around. There you go, Captain. That's what I'm talking about. Look at the, the way the wheel is turning there. These things can turn on a dime. I think you can actually do the, the wand waving incantations when Guardian Leviosa for the planes too at some point. Every job is just so specific and, and like we saw in that first episode, there's not really like a, a hand-holding guide. So you have to play the tutorials, memorize all the stuff you're supposed to do, and then you come in here and play these scenarios. So we're slowly but surely gonna work our way up over time. Um, just gonna kinda start with, I guess, deboarding a plane today. Can you imagine being able to stand and watching these behemoths? pull into their parking spaces. How you doing? Good to see you guys. Must have been a really quick flight from Orlando, that's for sure. Let's, uh, what happens if we take the headphones off for a second? All right, here we go. They have pulled into their spot and they are all good to go. Wonderful job by the captain. Let's go ahead and take our wheel chocks. We're gonna get one on the front, one here, and one here. Next up, we've got our cones. We're gonna pick up I think it's six cones or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. We could put it there. Drop one. One at the nose. Oh, we've got to put them behind the engines too. All right, so we'll put them behind the engine. I think we're going to need two more. One at the wing and one at the tail. We'll pick these up. Got one out here in the grass. I feel like that isn't really needed, but I guess it is what it is. And then we've got our little tail cone back here. Make sure nobody runs into this beast. All right, so our cones and chocks are out. We are all good to go. Now we need to insert the bypass pin. So that's going to be this. I thought it was in there. Oh, we just have it on us. Okay, we don't have to pick it up. But yeah, that's the little remove before flight tags. You always see them on like cool airplane bombers and stuff. So bam, look at that. We are all secured. Everybody's just waiting on us. We got to get these passengers off this plane. So next up, we want to connect the GPU and signal to the flight crew to stop the APU. I guess technically we probably could have had this ready to go, but your boy was taken in the sights and sounds of Key West International. Into the tug here, not really sure what to call it, so we're just gonna go with tug, and we are looking for a ground power unit, which we have found right here. Whip this thing around. Be so fun to use all the special machinery and stuff in this. I genuinely think this would be a really fascinating job. I'd probably get old with time, but you know, still think it's pretty cool. All right, we need to back up a little bit more, I think. And then we can connect that. Beautiful. All right, let's bring this beautiful ground power unit over to the front right side of the aircraft. Be sure to not run into anything here. All right, that looks good to me. So now we're going to get this thing started. We saw this in the last episode. We need to click that and then hold this. Take our headphones off so we can hear things now. Beautiful. All right, so while that's running and warming up the oil temperature, we're going to try to open this. I'm at the wrong plane. <clears throat> Not going to talk about it. We <laughs> it, would <laughs> it wouldn't let me open it for some reason. 
Well, it, it's because we were at, we were at the wrong plane. Okay, sorry about that, sir. We're we're good to go. Um, please please don't report me. This job means everything to me. All right, now we are at the correct plane. This thing should be warmed up. We were just trying to let it warm up. Where? That's the luggage compartment. Where's your little thingamajig? Oh boy, this is gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a problem. Fuel panel. Where would you plug in? Hey Siri, where do you plug a GPU into an A320 Neo aircraft? Might need to chat GPT this. Oh, I'm watching like a, a, a real, <laughs> I'm watching a real video, like an, an actual. <laughs> Dude, this is great. Oh, it's underneath. Interesting. That is amazing. I think it was right here. Oh, no way. I love it. All right, we're we're going to throw this in here. We're going to connect this and then we want to start this bad boy up. So we're going to go to uh, engine to run and then DC output on. Plane is now running off of this generator here. APU. Go ahead and turn that bad boy off and that should take us into the next thing. Connect stairs to the airplane, open the airplane doors, secure the passenger door with the safety barriers. Now this is something that I have not done yet and we have not done the tutorial for. I mainly did the tutorial just to learn how to do the luggage. So we'll see how this goes. I'm assuming this is gonna be our little, little stair mobile. Let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up. We can lift and lower the stairs. I think we have a outside view if we need it all right so we've got that setup slash hide supports what does that mean what is oh it's like little little jacks on the ground okay this is gonna be cool here we go so we're gonna drive this over to the correct aircraft this time door will be on the opposite side of the gpu connection which is good so we're gonna bring this guy around here we're gonna take a bunch of caution to make sure we don't run into the aircraft itself. We're a little off center here. We could probably I feel like the the cone storage is in a bit of a bad spot. All right, don't don't worry. It's just my my first time driving one of these things. Okay, so we're gonna want to raise this up a bit. Whoa. Okay, I didn't realize it was gonna go out like that. Oh my god, we all did we hit it? I don't think we hit it there. That is beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're gonna put down those little jack things. Let's go ahead and give us some some brace, some support. We can shut the engine off. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna open stairs must be attached. Okay. Do we need to go closer? That makes me a little bit nervous. Let's pick up our jacks again. You want me to actually like drive into the aircraft. I hope that's correct. Stairs must be attached. Oh, I think, I think I've got it. Okay, this, this switch in here blinks when you're connected. So you're gonna get the green blinker and then you hit enter and then you can open up the aircraft. Now, before our passengers can leave, we're gonna set out these guardrails so that they don't end up falling off and hurting themselves and suing us. And look at this. All of our beautiful passengers can deboard the plane after being forced to wait on the tarmac for like an additional 20 minutes that they probably didn't want to. Wow, these guys are actually pretty well designed. I mean, some of them are a little repetitive, but how you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, ah, yeah, it's no big deal. You know, anyone could be an airplane handler. Definitely YouTubers that have absolutely no idea what they're doing and, and just kind of flying by the seat of their pants. Yeah, it's 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 a super easy job. Thankless. You know, it's 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 all good. So passengers are deplaning. Next up, we want to get to the luggage, which I'm most excited about. So we're gonna run over here. Look at all these guys in a nice single file line listening to the rules, not breaking international law like your boy was running out on the, the runways earlier. So we need a luggage cart, which I'm assuming is going to be over here somewhere. This looks like the baggage area. Is this? Yes. Look at this beauty right here. A giant conveyor belt on wheels. So let's hop into this thing and we're going to head back over to the plane. I've never flown into Key West, but is this how it is? You just walk straight into customs and into everything else. Um, well, there's a problem here. I'm just going to have to shoot the gap. Excuse me. Sorry. Thank you. Definitely didn't run somebody over right. Can, can you run people over? 
just going to test this. Oh, nope, they get out of the way. Yep, thanks, guys. All right, appreciate it. So I believe the cargo holds are going to be over on this side of the plane. There's going to be one in front and one behind. So what we're going to want to do is detach this, and we're going to move this guy away. We no longer are in need of the tug. If anything, I mean, you know, we could just park it on an active taxiway. Not going to be a problem there at all. There's a front cargo hold, a rear cargo hold, and then like an additional extra cargo hold that I don't think is really used. Now, uh, what was interesting in the tutorial is they say you should always start at the rear because the center of the plane, the center of gravity is around right here. So if you start taking stuff out of the front, it's going to get a little bit back heavy and it could fall backwards and tail strike depending on how much luggage and things you have. So definitely going to want to start back here. So here on the A320, we need to open up this handle here. It's going to partially open. And then we have a little switch under here, which we can use to flip to open. And our doors are going to electronically, hydraulically open up. Into the belly of the beast, baby. Check it out. All right. So I'm not seeing a ton of luggage. Looks like we do have some back there. Dude, this is so cool. I've dreamed about this for so long, like being able to experience this. We're going to open this up. Let's make sure we unlatch this first. And then we're going to be able to switch this thing to open. Get our front cargo hold open as well. Again, we want to make sure we start in the rear. Don't want any funny business happening here. And then we're going to be able to hop onto our moving conveyor belt. So let's drive this guy around. Make sure we don't run into the wing or anything. And we're going to pull up to this rear hatch back here. So I think we can operate this like this you can just go up and down and then you can activate it not too close you don't want any part of your vehicle to touch the fuselage of the airplane but that looks pretty good to me right there so we're gonna crawl inside here and this is gonna be the luggage that we're working with so let's just uh, let's get this go well, you probably want to kind of try to yeah there you go you know what I mean if we're like a real baggage handler let's throw it as, as hard as we can as far as we can I, I don't know how some of the scratches and things happen to get on my my luggage at the end of the time now i i mean it, it makes sense it's all kind of piled up in here and these tight little cargo holds for their their journey so yeah these are going to come down this way ideally it would not be a single person job so there'd be somebody down here ready to collect it and i didn't I didn't get the baggage carrier. If you've ever gotten off a flight and you wonder why it's taking way too long for your luggage to arrive, it's because your boy is, is back there, you know, getting it done. Right? We definitely should have had this prepared ahead of time. We're gonna be better for next time, don't you worry. So we're gonna take one of these luggage carts here, hook up to it with our tug. I think the tug's probably a little overkill for this, but it'll get the job done. We're not quite there. That should be close enough. We can connect that, and here we go. We are going to drive back over to our airplane. This is going to be a very long day for these travelers. I know you guys just landed in the Keys. You're all excited for your vacation, but, you know, we've got other plans for you here at T. Martin Air Inc. <laughs> just left the luggage lying on the tarmac. Uh, at, at least it's all in one piece, right? All right, so ideally, we would have had this set up already. You can... What in the world happened? <laughs> Bro, what the f- How did I even manage that? I was not paying attention at all. All right, you know what? Again, definitely not a big deal. Look both ways before you cross the road. Looks like we're good to go. I'm just, uh, you know, I feel like the, the parking lot was getting a little full. I'm going to take it upon myself to leave this one out here should should be just fine and then we're going to be able to take all this luggage that we have lovingly caringly you know grabbed and, and neatly placed i'm going to set it really really <laughs> we ran over some of the luggage i'm going to set it really really nicely in here because this isn't the only luggage we have probably want to want to kind of take care of the the space that we have is that everything hopefully i'm not missing anyone's luggage thought we had a couple duffel bags anything left in there i mean it's not really my problem the company will take care of it if we need it so now we're going to take this we're going to bring this <laughs> around here definitely shouldn't cause any problems with the uh the gpu there oh well yep we've got a couple of 
pieces out here. Did these these might have yeah, they fell out, didn't they? That's unfortunate. It's alright. We're gonna be fine. Throw that in there. Let's let's safety first buckle up. Make sure that doesn't happen again. Now we're gonna come over to this guy. We wanna back up and we're gonna set this thing up at the front cargo hold. Looks like this one might be a little bit more full. Let's bring her up there. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Look at that finesse. So we've got a bunch of pieces here. This is going to be a, a bit more of an issue, I guess. I mean, technically what we should do, we should get inside and let's just grab this stuff and we put it on this. And ideally, we'd have a second person working with us down at the bottom throwing it in. Obviously, it's a one-man job here, so we're just going to have like a, a big pile of suitcases, but... Honestly, all jokes aside, this is really cool. I always see like TikToks and little Instagram reels and stuff of people climbing around in these things. I have so many aeronautical videos in my algorithm now from playing games like this and flight sim and stuff. Like it, it's truly kind of turned me into an app geek a bit. So we're going to get all of this luggage in here. Lots of duffels. I'm typically not one to travel with a duffel, but I can appreciate it. I can only imagine how hard this would be on your back and your knees and your everything out just your whole whole body as a whole crawling around in here picking up 50 pound plus suitcases kind of makes me not want to pack it as as full so these guys can have an easier time all right look at that in the cargo hold of an a320 this is so sick let's go ahead and shut off the conveyor we're gonna lower this thing back down and now we're gonna want to load up all of this luggage into our uh our little trailer not the best spot for it there so we're gonna bring her around can you imagine if you were another passenger on another flight watching this happen like looking out your window and you see this guy just whipping this around the generators a giant pile of luggage and he's just hum -de dum -de dum you can connect two or three of these together if you need but we're gonna see if we can play some tetris and get all of them in there and by tetris i mean just absolutely shove everything in here is as much as humanly possible We're gonna be fine i'm not worried about it we've got plenty of space definite oh oh we could just <laughs> we could just set some up on the roof could we have gotten two trailers sure would have made our life a heck of a lot easier but at the same time we're having to solve some problems here we're, we're adding to the resume this piece fell off got to be careful about that do we have oh we've got a little hole right here and then the last piece right here we can place just nope nope just like like so that's definitely not gonna fall at all I'm gonna try to keep oh oh don't you dare no 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 oh my gosh i i really didn't think it was gonna fall all right we've got a situation i'm i'm gonna have to really like truly take my time with this aren't i okay i'm not gonna lie to you i was trying to set up for a thumbnail and i i like turned this thing around and i went into the grass into like an out of bounds area and all of the luggage that was in our cart disappeared so you know what we'll we'll stack it nicely anyway i was actually really looking forward to trying to trying to do this it's a little awkward but you do have quite a bit of control here Look at that. You can stack them directly on top of each other. Now, I would think you probably don't really want to go over too high. I don't think you want to go over these bars, but we'll see how this works out. You could even lower this, and you could kind of play some, some Tetris like this and really... I bet standing them straight up and down is, is probably the, the move because then they won't slide at all. If we had two rows deep of, of just like straight up on the wheels like that, that would that'd be pretty good, but... Um, luckily, we don't have much luggage to deal with because it was offered to the aviation gods for future, you know, good episodes and, and luck that go better than this one. So let's go ahead and close that. I'm really curious if this one's going to slide off. I bet it does. Oh, it, it all just kind of flies all over the place. So yeah, standing straight up and down, definitely the way to go. That looks way less epic without all the luggage in it. Sorry about that, guys. I would say I'll replay it, but it would take like 40 minutes to get to this point again. So we're going to take this over to the luggage hold. Now, keep in mind, this is a very small airport. I'm excited for the next episode. We're going to try to do a full turnaround and we're going to load luggage. Oh, is this the luggage? It transported it over here. <laughs> it broke open. Are you kidding me? Somebody brought a football 
What is this? Like a, a picnic blanket? We've got shirts. We've got is that cigarettes? We've got a book. I'm gonna pick up all this stuff and we're we're gonna we're gonna place it. And, oh, somebody's toothbrush. Yeah, I feel I feel really really bad about this. I think we brought the luggage outside of the playable area and it, it just spawned it in here. That is is highly unfortunate. It's been a day, but anyway, we are gonna pull this in here. Get the trailer next to our conveyor belt. That looks like a good spot to me. We can activate that. It's going the wrong way. Oh boy, we're gonna have another delay. Is this the wrong side then? Do we click this side instead? No, is this the one that goes in? That goes out too. Is this an out luggage area? Do we need to go to the in luggage area? Oh, this this is where we were supposed to go. I promise it's the last delay. I mean, unfortunately, half the flight isn't gonna get their luggage because it's almost time for my lunch break, and there's there's no way I'm I'm going back for that. But uh, at least these lucky few are gonna have their luggage delivered into the carousel inside, where they can take it and go enjoy their vacation although some of the items may be missing if you were hoping to play football on the beach i don't think that's going to be happening this time around so uh bam there you have it our first ever attempt at being a baggage handler i would give us a fat f that was really not the most you know efficient you know, I'm, I'm gonna make sure people get their stuff. Let's let's back this up. I don't wanna be the cause of pain and suffering for anyone's vacation. I also just don't want the bad juju because I feel like if I did this the next flight I take, my luggage is getting lost. I, I, I can see why some luggage gets lost. There, there's a lot of moving parts out here. And you know, some people are probably a little bit more careful and careless than others so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed i'm gonna see you guys in the next one as i was saying this is a very small airport and we're kind of you know we're only doing the deboarding the next one i want to keep learning i, I want to try to learn to like refuel i want to learn to marshal i think is what it's called when you have the little candlestick things and you guide the planes in stuff like that but um i also i really want to do a luggage packing like getting the plane ready at a big airport because in the tutorial we were at a bigger airport and the the interior of like the luggage space was just it was so cool it was so fascinating to see like the shoots and stuff that all the the you know items come down so we'll definitely check that out the next one hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching rest in peace to this man's book football what is that i'm not sure he's got a bunch of chewing tobacco or tuna or i'm, I'm not even sure what that is so anyway um i'm gonna go load these up i'm gonna keep some good juju and I'll see you guys in the next episode.